up until 6.30, but we needed to be... We're here at Norwell Farm with some friends from Roger's work, and uh, so we're giving a tour of the farm today. So, beautiful day. And these are some of the boulders we're going to use at the house. We got some red ones down there that we're definitely going to use. <laughs> he's, he's attention for he's starved for attention. What kind of dog are they? Uh, the, the Anatolia Shepherd uh, mix. Oh yeah, she's like me, me. They grab me and run. So those are the new ones, Lamborghini and Cracker. That's Lamborghini. Oh. Those are the Canadian guys. Yep. The Canadian guys. Yeah. Hey Canadian. <laughs> Welcome to the USA. Get in now. Go ahead. <laughs> Sit. Just push that down. Step over. There you go. See, you work smarter, not harder. There you go. <laughs> this fence system seems great when you guys yeah. are moving them all around. Yeah. It's really versatile. Wow. Is, is that interwoven in there? Yeah, it's a poly cord. Like, okay, that makes I think sense. there's seven kinds of metal in there. Yeah, okay. Because I'm like, what? That looks like yeah. a cloth. But, okay. but every once in a while, um, it'll be a little sliver and you get a little. Yeah, and metal right. splinter. Yeah. So he's he's an adolescent. He's a teenager. So he has a lot of energy. Oh yeah. So will these eventually be integrated? Those are two of the breeding rams. We're going to take the the wool sheep oh. out here. These are the Ile de France. Okay. And <clears throat> we're going to split those two up and then give them each four ewes. We have, we have, gotcha. Uh, we have some um, treats. All these female, well, all the sheep are basically year old. Okay. And you want to breed the ewes to lay them the first time when they're about 14, 15 months old. So the wold sheep are older than the dorpers. So basically we're going to have some March lambs and we'll have some April lambs and we'll have some May lambs. Okay. And the goats are bred to have babies in March as well. So It's amazing. And so how many total? 40? Uh, 40 total, including the llama and the three dogs. Oh, okay. But yeah, these guys have settled in well there. Yeah, they look very uh, yeah, not sick yeah, at all, and <laughs> yeah, they're learning what the electric fence is. So. Yeah. What do you think? Come here, come on, good boy, good boy. Doggy pink. Copper, go. Oh, maybe, maybe. Uh, wow. Cracker good may good. want some too. You can give the white one some too if you want. He's going to hop in the car with you and go home with you now. No! No, you don't want him to? No, you're full? Here, here's a little bit. Okay. He's, he's, he's not as food motivated as Lamborghini is. Uh-oh. Wow. Okay, I'm scared. Just open your hands. Oh, no, they won't, they won't hurt you. They won't hurt me. They can't, they won't. They're not totally used to dogs yet, but uh, they're learning. Cracker likes to be petted more than anything. I like that one. He's more cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> he's more cleaner. And then when this when this was um, uh, how much how much do these guys weigh? Um, probably one seventy, one seventy five. I about the same there. Oh, did you hear him? Yeah, what, what was that? Packer uh, was uh, giving a little. He's like. That was his get over here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can stay closer. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on. She doesn't like to be caught. Once you catch her, she's fine, but she was starting to eat out of the bucket. I've got a nephew named Alex, so that should be easy. Don't put your fingers up, just put out like this. Look up to you. Isn't that cool? Here, you want some more? Yeah, there you go. What do you want? 
Here's the bucket. <laughs> well, I don't want the little Good stuff. Give me more in the bucket. <laughs> Smart llama. Give me the whole meal. Qualities of, of protection for the other animals, and she makes a, a, an unbelievable noise uh, for alert when, when there's something that's uh, unusual, whether it be a sound or an animal, whatever the case is. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's 12, I think, or 13. Yeah. And, and life expectancy, uh, 20, 22, something 25 years. And then if you can see behind her shoulders there, the hair is shorter. Mm -hmm. Every summer or spring, you shave them because if you don't, they tend to overheat. So you have to shave them. Now, the front wasn't shaved. And then down to her knees on the back legs was. So all that, so we'll have to shave her next spring. Heidi's a, Heidi's a booty, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> you want to race to the top of the hill? Oh, they're going to race. No, I said, are you? My racing days are over. <laughs> that is actually, llamas always go in the same spot. They, they make a oh. dung pile. They make a dung pile. They'll go to the same spot every time, and if you have a herd of llamas, They'll all go to the same dung pile, so they That's cool. they concentrate it. So for, for some, so, so, exactly, and from a matter of cleanup, then you know exactly where to go. <laughs> don't, pile, don't fall in a pile of uh, hey, Jack, hey, country somethings, huh? <laughs> I like <Yeah>. that. <laughs> Walk to the farm, you get a good workout. I'll tell you, it's nothing to put into your 10,000 steps. Oh, yeah, and there's nothing level on this farm at all. You're either uphill, downhill, or across, <laughs> yeah. which, is, which is why we like it. Awesome. How many acres is it? Uh, just a little over 50. Wow. There's 22, three that are tillable. Then we had some scrub land. I mean, that was scrub land there. Um, and I think the wetlands are about. 14. Okay. So, looks perfect for what we wanted. No kidding. All right, let's go. That's Lily. And she'll keep barking probably the whole time we're here. She's gotten better, but how just, old was it? How old was she? She's was 11 months when we got her. Okay. Yeah, so. Yep. Just never socialized. It's interesting because Lily was with the goats first when we got her. And then uh, we put Garrett with the sheep, and actually he was with the sheep by himself for a while. And now the sheep and goats don't hang together. Garrett will go with the sheep, and Lily stays with the goats. That, Jared really liked that. That's the billy goat. They're all, he's the billy. They're all Kikos. They're all Kiko goats. They come in all different colors. Here comes Shirley. <laughs> oh my gosh. Shirley, Shirley loves here. Grab her, grab her hand. Oh yeah. Yeah, the goats are bullies. <laughs> here, Shirley. What? What the hell? It's for free. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, girls. Good. Grab another handful. Oh, it's going with the hey, there it is. He likes me. He likes you. Oh, They'll come to you. There you go. Ah, good boy. <laughs> After this, I'm washing my hands. That's a good idea. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. You got goat goobers on your hands, right? You gotta wash goat goobers off. Alex, you got goat goobers on your hands? <laughs> So, so Shirley, uh, right, right next to Lambert, uh, is a is a Texel, and okay. then and then the uh, two sheep, or the, the black and white, those are those are the uh, heritage breed. Those are the the, 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 the Jacobs. Okay. Garrett, how's my boy? How are you, big boy? Huh? He had surgery August the 22nd for his shoulder. He's doing better, his left shoulder. 
He's got a little bit of a limp, but he's doing pretty good. They avoid the goats because the goats beat up on them. Oh, really? Yeah, the goats will butt them and move them out of the way. All food motivated. <laughs> they go where the food goes, huh? Yeah. yeah they're smart. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I surely got some. Here. Do your form in the middle of the show. Oh, yeah. Chloe, come on. Come on. Good girl. Boy, this alfalfa is pretty high. Yeah. That's a great shot. So, yeah. They're all looking like, why can't we come along? You know the good stuff on this side. Yeah, yeah. Now here again, this grove here, you can see how high up it goes. That was solid. You couldn't see through it at all. And the goats cleared all that out. Wow. An interesting thing about the sheep is they like burdock. Oh, yeah. They will eat those leaves. Uh -oh. so, of course, we got more than enough. But we can't, we can't keep up with it. Is that, not, is that just a weed or is that a It's a weed. Yeah. yeah. You get those, what we call the Velcro burrs that stick to you. Grass and field like this. So early in August, we turned the goats in here. They were here for about a month. Month, yeah. Uh, and they cleaned the whole, literally cleaned the whole thing out. Then we came through with the with the big uh, tractor and we mowed everything. But it's really reclaimed uh, oh. another nice pasture. Area. So this fence was all here, or did no. you? Oh no. Okay, got, you fenced we, this whole we area. We had it all okay. fenced in. Yeah, seven thousand feet of fence we had put in. Wow. And then we have red bows in four of the trees. You can kind of see through that one over there. Oh, yep. Oh, okay. Last fall, we lost, lost five dogs in 10 months. <laughs> we had five dogs that were 13 or older. Uh, and so four of them had either died or we put them to sleep. So for Christmas, we came down and put a red bow in each tree for those four dogs. And then Clark, I think we put him to sleep in January. Yeah, before we went to South Africa. So... Uh, so we just left them in. Yep. Yeah. But, so will this be like a late summer pasture for? Um, we may bring the goats down here like spring and okay to clean it up a little bit. Yeah. Normally we would section it off and rotate them, which I didn't this year because it was just so overgrown. Mm -hmm. We said go for it. Yep. Yeah. But we'll probably bring them down here because they'll have their babies, oh. and we'll just section it off each time. That way, it they graze what they're on, then they move, and it's better for. Um, parasite control intestinal Ooh. parasites too mm -hmm. so ideally you don't want them to regraze the same area for about mm, six seven weeks mm -hmm. come back to it so this grass came up really nice yeah, yeah the okay. difficult thing is is getting them down here because you have to do a temporary fence to yeah, get them down there or haul them until you actually walk it you really don't have a good feel or perspective yep. of what it's oh. like <laughs> to get your boots cleaned off walking through the water the, the wet grass will clean them off. Just go like this. Just go like that. That'll that'll clean it off. They're some pretty cool boots. They're sharks. Huh? The shark boots, huh? Yeah. With lights. With li Okay. All right. Wow. Country delight resistant. <laughs> I think you made some new best friends there, Alan. I I think you did. Do you have a dog? No. No. <laughs> no. I don't have an idea. Well, well, you know what? You can you can ask your mom and dad. You can come visit the farm anytime you like. How's that sound? Uh -huh. You have a standing invitation. Uh, okay. That's a great offer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you gonna follow me? Yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
and, I, and I've always had uh, small dogs, you know, not larger ones. It's, it's a whole total difference, but, but they're loving dogs. They're really, really, really great. And obviously, there's fence is still off if you want to pet him. Yes, please. Come rub my belly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, oh, she sees it once. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the Chihuahua Terrier mix and it's a Terrier mix, you know. <laughs> Karen, you found a friend. <laughs>